I'm your boy, Brother Vince, and I'm a disabled veteran. And today, man, I want to talk to you about this article that I found, um, basically giving advice to veterans when it comes to them seeking out assistance from non-veteran -vet recognized organizations. But before we get into that, please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And you can find more content from Vet Talk on YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Reddit for more content. And if you're a veteran and would love to share your story and resources for veterans, please feel free to contact me ASAP. And now that we got out of the way, man, let's get into this topic, man. So the article is um basically titled Warno. And it says they call themselves coaches or consultants and advertise their ability to assist you with your VA benefits claim, but they may not be accredited to practice before the VA. So I wanted to talk a little bit about what's going on here because I know there's a lot of veterans who were like how I was seeking help for their um for them. So when they're trying to apply for benefits. And the number one thing that we do when we don't know what to do, we seek help. And a lot of times that help may come from battle buddies or, you know, people who are veterans who know a little bit about um, different resources out there. And they may give you a company that may can help you with your benefits. When I went to apply for mines, I had an organization called Vet Comp and Pen, which is no longer recognized as a organization to help veterans. Um, they helped me, and then I found out that they transferred and went to Trajectory, which I'm finding out now is another organization that's not congressionally recognized um, to help assist with your veteran benefits. And the reason how I know that there are a lot of companies out there that are falling under this category is due to the fact that when I, myself, was trying to start an organization called vet to vet I wanted to help veterans with their benefits and I wanted to, you know, charge them a select fee to help them. Well, what I found out when I tried to get a congressional letter from DAV concerning this matter, I found out that um, because DAV and other organizations that are congressionally recognized um, help veterans with their benefits for free, that an, a, a cease and assist order went out stating that Basically, a lot of companies were going to um, have to stop basically um, servicing veterans because of the fact that there are congressionally recognized organizations that actually do do veteran um, benefits um, help. Like they give veteran um, help with those benefits for free. So please look out for some of those organizations. And in the bottom in the description, I am going to post um, an actual link to an actual service that the VA has that you can check and see if the person that's helping you with your benefit is congressionally recognized. Because I think one of the problems that a lot of veterans are running into is now that a lot of these organizations who started out credible organizations, um, now they may have lost their credibility and the VA no longer recognize their, um, their information or the stuff that you send in with those organization name attached to it. And I think it's unfortunate that it has come to this point now because I believe that there probably were a lot of great organizations out there, but I can also understand the VA take when they are paying, you know, congressional recognized organization to do this work. And I would say, you know, and I testify with some of y'all that um when I tried to go through DAV back in 2014, I received no help at all. Is that to say that DAV is a bad company? I can't say that, but what I can say when I tried to get the help that I needed back then, I didn't get a, I didn't get help from them. And, you know, it left me in a situation where I had to seek help because it was a lot about um, VA benefits that I had no, no understanding, no information on, um, especially when I got out in 2013. Um, I got out during a time where, you know, there was no assistance with VA benefits. All I knew was I had certain situations going on. And I applied for those situations when I was in the army. And once I got out, um, it was a lot to the VA that I didn't understand nor have a, um, any clue about, um, how things, you know, um, function or how they operated. So basically I was taken by one of these companies to help. And I won't say that I was taken par se, but according to what they're saying now, basically I should have never paid the organization to help me, but 
to my for, for um to my defense, when I went to a free organization, I didn't get help. So I can see why a lot of veterans try to outsource the free help for paid help because if it's going to get your results in um max um in a minimum amount of time that you need to get it fixed, then you're going to take the path of least resistance. And for me back then, that was the path of least resistance. So I want to read to you a little bit of the background of this story that came out on February um, 15th, 2023. And basically what it says is the background goes something like this. Um, Congress Congress, um, recently passed the Honoring Our Promise to Address Comprehensive Toxic Act of 2022, which is known as the PAC Act. To the extent um, veteran health care Expanded benefits eligible to veterans who were born uh, were exposed to burn pit and other toxic substance during their military service. So that's what the PAC Act was all about. The PAC Act added over 20 medical conditions, which will now be presumed to be connected to military service dating back to the Vietnam, Gulf War, and post 9-11 era. Unfortunately, there has been an influx of influ- influx of predator advertising which propose um which per um propose to help veterans often through the the guise of medical consulting or benefits coaching considering their initial claims to the department of veteran affair for a fee but unauthorized assistance and claims preparation is illegal only va accredited representatives are permitted to assist veterans with their benefit claim the VA accredited representatives are not permitted to charge a fee for their assistance on veterans initial benefit claim we have heard reports that unscrupulous actors have misled some veterans into paying hundreds or of thousands of dollars in legal fees in, in, in illegal fees there have also been advertisement and commercials aims at veterans who are stationed, who were stationed at Camp Lejeune, which I'm one of them, um, seeking to represent them in litigation related to Section 804 of the PAC Act, which is referred as the Camp Lejeune Justice Act. Although private litigation is not subject to the VA accreditation process, attorney, attorney, attorneys are subject to the ruling governing attorney in their respective respective states or courts. Any attorney seeking benefits on the behalf of a VA of a veteran directly from under the CLJA must be accredited by the VA. So even if you have a lawyer that's helping you with the situation, these people have to um you have to ensure that these people are accredited by the VA. And the way that the VA has done this, and I'm going to take you and show you, they actually have an actual site where you can actually go check and see if the people that you're working with are accredited by the VA so that you don't waste your time going through this process, filling out all this paperwork with somebody, and then you find yourself on the other end of the state, man, which is not good, especially if you've been waiting years. So um, the actual site for it is the the, um, United States Department of Veteran Affairs. They have actual um, a section on their site where you can go and you can find this information on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link in the description where you can directly click on that link and you can go to this page and you can type in information to find out if the person that you're dealing with is actually accredited by the VA because if they're not, then you're going to find yourself in a situation where you're not going to get the benefits that you're seeking to get. And then you're going to be frustrated and you're going to be mad and you're trying to figure out why every time I submit my claim with this company, I keep getting denied. And it could be the fact that the VA don't recognize these organizations that, you know, out there right now. and you're being turned down because of that. So I just want to make sure that I put this out there because it's just like some of y'all, I too did pay somebody for assistance. And I'm going to be honest with you at the time, I didn't see nothing wrong with it. And, and to be honest to you personally, honestly, 
I don't think anything is wrong with it. But if they did rob, they did steal and take away from us as veterans, knowing that they didn't have the credentials, that could be a problem. I don't know how far this thing can go. I don't know what it can turn into. I don't know if that can have anything to do with, you know, veterans being um being a hassled or benefits being taken away because now they don't recognize. I don't know if there's any information behind that. But what I do know is moving forward, I want to make sure that, you know, you veterans out there who are applying for your benefits are getting the necessary help that you need now so that you don't find yourself in a bad situation. So this has been another episode with your boy, brother Vince from Vet Talk. As always, Vet Talk out. <laughs>